morning. Great day out here in La Jolla. Today there are little waves, not great waves, but still a wonderful morning. I, uh, I don't know, I've been waking up a little bit earlier than usual. I'm kind of antsy to get some good waves. I'm not really that good a surf. Um, actually headed to Austin, uh, Texas to go uh, surfing in this wave pool because uh, I was so antsy to get some good waves. Anyway, uh, this morning I was thinking about it. Actually, I was thinking about this yesterday a lot. And uh, I turned 30 not that long ago. And, uh, you know, for most of you guys, that's like not a big deal. Maybe some of you are a lot younger. Maybe some of you are older. But I turned 30 and I started thinking more and more about how happy I was with my life, where I was with my life. And I started looking at my friends and I was like, most of my friends are not in a good place, in my opinion. Most of them are fat, uh, lazy, they don't work out, they eat like shit. Um, a lot of them, most of them have good jobs. Maybe not jobs they love, though. Um, maybe they're stuck. Um, some of them have bad jobs. Um, so that would just be the total trifecta, or, or maybe, you know, maybe they have four major issues. A lot of them are in relationships they don't like either, uh, which is just crazy to me. So it's like, if you don't have kids, just get out as fast as you can. But, you know, they're fat, they're lazy, they eat like shit, they don't work out. They're in a job they hate and a relationship they hate. It seems pretty bad. Some of my friends, most of my friends are kind of in the middle. Um, you know, they've got a few things going right, a few things that I'm sure they'd like to change. And, and I feel like that's a good place to be because it's a lot easier when you have two or three things to change. Um, you know, major things to change about your life, just picking one and going for it. And then a couple of my friends really have it put together. So anyway, my buddy, <sighs> got out my coffee. My buddy and business partner, uh, this guy Dylan, uh, we set New Year's goals at our company and we review them every month. Like, how are you doing? Are you on track or are you not? And it's pretty funny. It's a good, I think more companies and teams should do it. But so Dylan's like, you know what? Turn 30, I want to get down to 6% body fat. So this guy started eating super clean, super clean, like no carbs. Drinking only one to two glasses of wine a night, not, not drinking as much as he was, working out like a freak. And so obviously that's contagious. And so I was like, you know, I don't really feel like uh, changing my diet. I already eat pretty clean, um, but I would like to go to this yoga thing with you. And so he goes to this yoga, and I've been to yoga a couple times, but this is different because um, I travel around a lot and I look for this and I can't find it, except on the east and west coast usually. Uh, it's called Sculpt. So basically it's a room where you're in for an hour. It's 105 degrees. You've got two sets of weights and they basically just kick your ass and make you stretch and do intense cardio stretching workouts in 105 degree heat with little to no breaks. Um, it's just a phenomenal workout. So the reason I bring that up is something that I noticed, oh, there's actually a pretty good wave right there. Um, something I noticed Dylan doing, this dog running around. Something I noticed Dylan doing was he would have this same routine. And, and I know how important routines are and I love routines. And I think uh, what I decided is I was like, you know what, I, I'm not, I'm so busy with work right now, I'm not in a place to change my entire routine. I'm already have a good routine, I eat clean, I get up same time every morning, do my morning ritual. But I was like, you know what, I wanna make one change. I wanna make one daily commitment. And I feel like one daily commitment can change your life. So just over the last couple months, I can tell you my daily commitment has been to work out every day, every weekday at least. And for me, four days a week, five days a week, that means yoga sculpt at Core Power. And changed my life. My, I'm in the best shape of my life right now, for sure. Only time I don't go to Core Power Sculpt is if I surf twice a day, um, but that's such an intense workout that I feel like I get a pass. Um, and then the other commitment, the other change I made also, and this is you know body related, it's not work related or anything else, but the other change that I made that's been a big help is I eat one meal a day that doesn't have any carbs. Um, the only carbs I am allowed to have are 
are beans because they're slow carbs. Um, they're actually much, much healthier than, than starch carbs or than flour carbs or rice or anything like that. Uh, but normally it's breakfast, so I'll just eat eggs and bacon. I'll eat three, four eggs over medium and, and bacon or three, four eggs over medium and sausage. Or maybe I'll just eat a veggie omelet. Um, lunch is more difficult for me. I don't really like just eating just salad for lunch, but I'll do it um, if I didn't get my breakfast in. And that one meal change and that one, you know, going, committing to go to yoga every single day, uh, you know, committing to just doing one change in my day. And I started with yoga. I didn't start with a diet. So I did yoga for like 30 days straight almost. And, uh, and then it became habit. You know, I feel like if you can do something for 21 days straight, you can make it a habit. So what I would say is if you're, whether you're, you know, 30 or whether you're 40 or whether you're 20, pick one thing, one small thing that you can do that you can commit to doing every day. Commit to doing one thing every day because it'll save you from being a piece of shit one thing at a time. And stick with it for a month or two. Don't go try to do 10 things all at once, but just... I don't know, man. I just get so frustrated when people give up, when they become victims. Like, it just bugs me, man. Like, people that don't take responsibility for their own lives just like really pisses me off. So, commit to doing one thing. For me, it's yoga. For me, it's eating one meal a day. It doesn't have any carbs in it. For you, maybe it's meditating. For you, maybe it's maybe it's running. Uh, maybe it's surfing. Uh, maybe it's cutting out alcohol. I don't know, but. Commit to doing one thing a day, one small thing that's positive for you so that you're not a piece of shit. It's gonna change your life. So, actually it looks like there's little waves right now, so I think I'm gonna go surf, but catch you guys on the flip side. Adios.